Huh? What is going on? It's happened. The sun has exploded. What the heck is going on here? What's going on? I... I don't know. Sir, we have a problem. Why now? I am putting the country in lockdown. Don't fool away. Well, I thought we had more time, but I was wrong. My friend, Dr. Drake, these things are unpredictable. Yeah. Alert the United Nations. We must contact the Americans. We're doomed! I think the sun exploded there, right? I already know that, idiot. Huh. Well, I guess it's time to put our plan into action. Yes. Yes, it is. As many of you may know, the sun has exploded. God, are you kidding me? God, are you kidding me? You stupid citizen. Uh, you are an idiot. Go away, you idiot. You're the stupid one, you idiotic man. <laughs> Anyways, I have collaborated with nations from across the world. What happened to the god? You are an idiot. I killed him with my deadly slap <laughs> anyways my um people have crossed the globe from nation to nation from people from russia china usa and we will make a plan to save humanity i will consult with my scientists and we will form a plan peace out so I heard from the Russian government that there is a, a moon orbiting a planet, Saturn. It is called Titan, and it has oxygen on that moon. And it will be warm enough for us to live on there for a few years, maybe even a thousand. What about my kids? <laughs> Are you kidding me? I made this country! <laughs> I'm gonna get the manager. No, no, please don't! No way! I found that very unprofessional of you, Dr. Jake. This is the best plan we have, and we are going for it. Yeah, my cave, boy! <laughs> this is my cave now. <laughs> GET UP! GET UP! GET UP! I'm a farmer, you idiotic caveman. I'm sorry, this is my cave. That sun is gonna blow up. So, yeah. Oh, you mean that big, massive, weird yellow thing in the sky? Oh, apparently, the sun is already blown up. I was not aware of that. But anyways, I'm a farmer, and my cows can't live without the sun, and my plants and stuff cannot live without the sun. I was a farmer before I found this cave, and I made it my home. Yeah. Cool, cool. Yes, we all know that their plans will fail. And that's why we have to hurry. 
we must start a rebellion. Yes. The world is a vulnerable stage and we must not get emotional. And we must not waste any time getting ourselves to tighten. Even at the expense of others. Mother, let me in! We need to buy plane tickets! Hey, Cookie! What is the problem? We need money to go to Titan! Then get a better job, Cookie! You're the mayor! Give me money! So, Farmer Doe, after reviewing your documents, you have pass and you will get a spot on the spaceship. Of course, your grandmother will have to be evicted from her house. But, that's up to you as family issues. I don't care about her! <laughs> Hello there, Cookie! I apologize, but you are being evicted from your house. Cookie. Hello and welcome to World News. Darkness everywhere, everywhere on Earth. The temperatures are dropping. Please welcome Harvey to the show. I assure you, your children will not starve. We have a plan. The Moon Titan has bright skies, very, very, very warm temperatures, and that this place is a great place for you and your children to live in a few, few days. Oh boy, the Moon Titan, what a great place for the future of humanity to live in. Whoa. Enjoy this footage of the sun exploding, taken from Earth that changed our world forever. The sun exploded! Well, sir, what was your experience? And how did it relate to you? And how did it make you feel? Yeah, so I was at my house, and I was trying to give my grandmother her cake. And then I heard a faint blow, like a big, a big explosion. I was scared, I checked outside and I saw a big white thing in the sky. I just thought everything was white. Then they turned really black and I found out the, the sun exploded. It was so dark, so cold, and so terrifying. What an interesting story from your home. Now watch this footage of an Asian man freaking out. Because of this, my bar is going to close. Ah, uh, we're all gonna die. Idiots. That's all the time we have here today. Thank you for watching. We're all gonna die! Oh! All the idiots. I've prepared our ships, sir. And I've trained an army. An army to conquer the world! Inform the Mafia of our plan. Yes. The riots are starting. Stay low. Excuse me! The government can't force us to go to Titan. That's breaking international law. <laughs> I assure you that everything is you safe. Suck. Traveling to the moon Titan is something that is very safe, and I don't know. Shut up! I don't know who started these rumors, this but is stupid. We will continue with our plans, and the Russian mafia, the Italian mafia, means nothing to me. What if the government is wrong? Earth is getting colder and colder. There isn't even enough ships for all of us. Hello and welcome again to CBC News. I am Kate Green and I am reporting live from the equator in Africa. There's writing all over the entire world and recently here in Africa, the forecast is saying snow. 
Of course this isn't working. I am proposing a new idea. To fire the government! To become communist! Communist regime! Kate Green reporting! Live from Africa! Hello! Again! In ocean. I am on an iceberg in the Indian Ocean. This is just one thing of many that is happening, I'm afraid. The government is promising to evacuate the countries near the two poles first because of the increasingly cold situations. Countries in the equator will unfortunately have to wait longer in crowded situations. Thank you. I will consult with my scientists and we will form a plan. The countries in Canada, Russia, Scandinavia, Alaska, Argentina, New Zealand, will be evacuated first. Alright boss, we are evacuating the Northern Hemisphere. Excellent Dr. Jake, very good job. The Mafia means nothing to me. It is my least priority. I like that attitude Dr. Drake. It's something that you can rule a country with. Now, what are the physics and how can we actually launch these rockets to Titan? Explain to me. Alright, so, we are trying to find gas and materials to fuel all of our rockets. But, we have 4,000 rockets and each one can fit 4,000 people on it. What are you doing here? I am really sad right now and I need a beer. Hit me up. Why aren't you at the NASA headquarters? Well, you see, I just don't want to go right now. I don't want to leave Earth yet. You realize that the government is communist now and there's nothing you can do about that. I'm sure Titan is safe. They'll never catch me. I'm gonna call the police. You're an idiot. You are an imbecile. Do you want to die? You're an idiot. 911, what's your emergency? Hello, I'm here to report a deserter. <laughs> yeah, he's also armed with a knife. <laughs> I just killed the guy! Alright, we're launching off in three minutes. We have to hurry. There's been a murder. Oh, interesting. Hmm. What? What have I done? <laughs> there goes my ship. The one that I evicted my grandmother for. Cookie! <laughs> Hello and welcome to yet another edition of CBC News. Ah! We have liftoff. Our generation should be completely excited that we have this opportunity. Generations and generations before us have been preparing for this day and we are finally the generation that would be traveling to the moon Titan. The first shipment of people will land on the moon Titan later today. Oh, and you will see that my plans are not stupid. The Mafia are the true stupid ones. Whoa! It's amazing. It's extraordinary. It's nothing I've ever seen before. Karen! It's time. Take down the murderer and put him where he belongs. Yes, sir. That's all the time we have here today. Thank you for watching. What? What have I done? 
San Francisco Police Department, open up. We have to take you in for questioning. Go away. Sir, what are you doing? Nothing. It's a free country, isn't it? I am conducting an arrest. Leave the house. Sir, I am right outside his basement window and I will lower myself in. <sighs> okay, Jack. So anyways, officer, I would like to see your identification. Certainly, sir. It is my duty to give you my identification. Oh, crap. I left it in the car. Uh, I'll be back. Don't you worry. Ah, uh, where is it? I killed that man in the in the bar. Where is he? Ah, crap! I think I lost it. Oh. <laughs> He's gone. Hello, you must be Farmer Joe. Just take me. I surrender. Well, I guess. Um. I left my identification. I'm sorry. That's illegal! Ah, uh, whatever. Well, who are you and why are you on this man's property? I'm conducting an arrest. That's none of your concern. <laughs> uh, no, I don't want to arrest you. I want to help you. I want to help hide you from the police. I want to help you survive. If you follow me, you can start new. I deserve to go to jail, though. I killed a man. I gave up a chance to go to the Moon Titan. Trust me, you made the right decision. Every single person on that flight will die before they get to Titan. Josiah, what do you mean? You're not going to. I'm afraid so, Farmer Joe. We planted a bomb on the ship, and we will tell you why if you follow me. No! You kill people! You do it for fun! You are despicable! Do you think 8 billion people will all live on a planet that is barely bigger than the moon? Well, I guess I never thought of that. Uh. You see, you have two choices get arrested and probably left behind and then slowly freeze to death. Or you can come with us. Fine. I have a window. Let's just get out of here. What an idiot. Open up! Questioning that I have a license to do this. I'll probably have to break down the door. He's not here. Hello, Harvey. Yes, the farmer is gone with the Mafia. Well, people doubting the government is going to stop our operation. We have every single capability to land on the Moon Titan and we will do so. The farmer Joe wants to be an idiotic man. He can be an idiotic man. Uh, uh. Dude, you need to stay awake, man. Uh, we're getting paid a lot for this job. <clears throat> uh, people on this flight are so annoying. Ah, mission control. I think we have a problem. Huh? Press the button, Jack. Right away. We were so close. The Mafia was right. We're all going to die. Mission Control? We have a problem. 
Kinetic Depression, 250. Velocity, 1.49. X11, Y12. Excellent work, Buck. Now let's get that plane moving slower so it doesn't crash into Titan and obliterate it. Ah, what's happening? There's been an explosion on the plane's wing. Ah, are we gonna die? I hope not. We need to lock ourselves into these chairs and prepare for impact. Eh, I'm all buckled in. You realize they're gonna die. Yeah, they are. Opportunity. Prepare for impact in three, two, one. Time of death, 321. Boss, the spaceship is down. Great. Hello again, and welcome to CBC News. The first launch to Saturn's moon Titan ends in complete and utter tragedy. This was clearly a bomb implanted by the Morphia to destroy my plan. This is not my fault. How could it be my fault? I think that it is pretty clear that nothing Prime Minister Wayne says is true. He is a liar. Okay, folks, let's talk politics. The government wants to promote more green stuff. You know, recycling and climate change. And their thoughts are as follows. I quote, let's all move to planet 25% of Titan. I mean, how stupid is that? <laughs> Power outages and cold temperatures are frequent across the globe. The government has not released any plans of a future launch to the moon Titan at this moment. A United Nations meeting is being scheduled later today to discuss the topic of conversation. And that's it for this edition of CBC News. Kate Green reporting out. Man, well I guess your cousin quite a star. Oh, you can't even imagine. My master plan is working as intended. What? <laughs> Killing people? I have to say, it makes me pretty sad knowing all those people are dead. The Mafia has to go! They have already done so much damage. Okay. Vote Dr. Drake. I want you to do one thing. I want you to shut up. The Mafia has made a valid point. There are 8 billion people on this globe, and how can we crunch them into a planet that is barely bigger than the moon? It won't work. We need a game plan. Dr. Drake, 8 billion people are planning on us. They're waiting on us, and they're hoping that we can make this work, and we can keep our nation in control. We don't want to kill any more people. Too many people have died already. We need to be professionals in every single thing we do. And we need to one-up the Mafia. Oh, Harvey. You're kinda right. And I, I will explain the science to you if you want. But you can't ignore all of these deaths that have occurred already. Oh, Dr. Drake. I have already sued the Mafia for their actions. And their actions will not go unnoticed. They were right in the sciences, but achieving your goals by uh, harshness is never the answer. If they want to make a change in this world, they can do it in the legal system. I'll get my slides. Oh, 
And as you can see, every star goes through a life cycle. Fast, they're born. And immediately, they start accumulating more and more mass. So much mass that they become a red giant, like it is now. So much mass is pulling Mercury and space debris into it, which is blocking the sunlight. And that's why it is so darn dark and cold. Still enough to live off though for a while. Soon, Mercury and Venus will become part of the sun and it will become more powerful. Earth and Mars will get sucked in. When the sun sucks the two planets, the light will melt Earth and all living creatures will die. You can see how the sun is turning into a mega nuclear power generator. The sun will melt Earth and start to pull it in at the same time Jupiter and Saturn will experience temperatures similar to Earth. <laughs> Every sun will have a limit of accumulation. Once it hits that limit, it won't gather anymore. It will wait. That will happen when it is finished. Eating Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. And during that time, which will last for a couple of million years, we will have a nice warm temperature on a moon that has the uh, same amount of oxygen as Earth. After that, the sun will truly explode and disappear completely into a white dwarf. Possibly into a supernova. But I think we're fine. Hopefully science will develop and we will have a plan then. As for space, we will have to drill into the planet and build skyscrapers. I doubt that we will have that problem though. Dr. Drake, impressive report. Good job, Doctor. I give you permission to launch a second spacecraft to the moon Titan. Meanwhile, I will have to go to court against the Mafia. See you then. The Mafia has won the hearts of many, many Earthlings, and it's probably won mine too. After last week's tragedy, the United Nations Prime Minister is suing the Russian Mafia for supposedly implanting a bomb on the spaceship traveling to Saturn's moon, Titan. Here you can see Judge Saman sitting on his chair, waiting for court to happen. <sighs> the defendant sits peacefully. The court is starting soon. You can watch the entire thing broadcasted live from CBC News. Okay, I am starting court. Hello, hello everyone. Uh, just reading over the document. The President of the United Nations is suing the Mafia for planting a supposed bomb on the plane. I'll let the defendant speak first. Hello everyone from planet Earth, from the East Coast to the West Coast. My name is Harvey, President of the United Nations, and recently I have placed a lawsuit on the Mafia for planting a bomb on the spaceship. First off, I want to say that the only Mafia stuff we do is all legal. We merely posted critical things online criticizing the housing crisis we are having now and what it will be on Titan. Harvey, you seem like a man that does not like death. <laughs> then I ask you, why are you launching a second spacecraft when the first one blew up killing people? The same people you guaranteed us a safe, successful journey. I have consulted with my scientists and it was proven 
that the cause of death of all of those beautiful people was in fact a bomb on the spaceship. And I have upgraded our security so this won't happen and we will do a full sweep of this spaceship. And we will make sure that there are no more bombs. As for the spacecraft itself, I guarantee this success. 100% success. You mean the one that blew up? <laughs> oh, Dave, we all know you did that. You were the one who planted the bomb on the spaceship. And even if it wasn't you, it still wasn't my fault that it blew up. Like I said before, we have upgraded our security. I don't care what sick plan you have, but you will not blow up this spaceship. And later today, we will land on Titan, whether you like it or not. You have both made valid points, thank you, thank you. I personally think that Tarvi's plan to launch to Titan is a good plan, even though my opinion doesn't matter in that field. Personally, at this point, I am not going to charge anyone. But, Dave, if you do anything, I just want to tell you murder is a serious crime, and in some countries is punishable by death. Thank you, Judge, and I will keep your advice in mind. Although, we all know that there isn't enough room. Have I heard that, Dave? And we will be making skyscrapers and super basements. You're the idiotic man! Incorrect! <laughs> Thank you for joining us on this edition of Courtroom Debate. My boss is honestly the best. True, true. Honey, I'm home. But seriously, we need to talk. Farmer Joe laid another bomb on the spacecraft. Harvey is a stupid idiotic man and he does not know what he is talking about. Why me? I saved you from arrest, do what I say. Dave, you are going crazy. I'm not crazy. The only reason that I want to kill people is so that I can depopulate the world. The government has a plan, Dave! Will you plant the bomb? No. I'm going away. You're an idiot! Joe, wait. No, Jack. I'm getting paid billion of euros for this. No. So, this all a money scam, huh? Huh? You don't want to save lives, huh? That's what I thought. For me, yes. For my boss. I don't know. Let me handle this one. Farmer Joe is not well. Yes, boss. I'm also going to need you to execute our plan to blow up flight number two. You see, Joe, Farmer Joe, everyone wants something in life. The government doesn't know what they're doing. I am not sick. I am smart. And say it well aloud. Farmer Joe, I will admit I thought you were dumber than you were. <sighs> Prime Minister Harvey has made incredibly valid points, and I think that we probably all could fit on Titan and grow our own food. We would just need to be smart. But still, it would be too crowded. Even if we could cut our numbers to just one billion, it would be so much better. So, you want to save lives by conducting a genocide? I don't want to save lives, I want to improve them. We can just choose a billion people and then it could have a mansion with a pool and a garden and live like a king. 
I just don't know how I'm gonna live in somewhere that will have cities with population density that is unimaginable. And you realize that in Africa, when people are gathering at the equator, the destiny is already that crazy! And we are coping just about. You might not see the good in what I'm doing, but I can assure you it's there. I've done so much for you, I saved you from being arrested, and now I'm asking you to join me on Titan once we kill everyone else. Until then, I guess I'm just gonna have to lock you up. No! Sir, you have to pass through registration. I have a pass. Already. Uh, okay, then you can give it to me. <laughs> I have money if that's what you want. Let me through. <laughs> Dude, I'm not an idiot. <laughs> Look at your screen, I sent 100 euros. And if you let me through, I will send 500 grand. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, okay, you have a good point. Good day. What an idiot. I'll be collecting my 500 grand. And I'm also gonna sound the alarm of the security. Code Red, somebody has snuck into the launch pad. Oh crap, they know we're here. I should not have trusted that security guard. The loading is at 50% to place the bomb. Come on, baby, hurry up. Boss, I found the suspect, and I am arresting him. Hands up, your message has been deleted. And you are being arrested. This run. Hello everyone, this is Mrs. Green, bringing you yet another edition of CBC News. We are only half an hour away from the launch of the second spacecraft through Saturn's moon, Titan. Hello everyone, my name is Prime Minister Harvey, and I am incredibly satisfied and glad that we have this opportunity to go to Titan. There have been many attempts to blow up the spacecraft, but the police and the extra security have done their job and they have protected the spacecraft. Right now you are looking at one of the most dangerous and one of the most lethal members of the Russian Mafia. The police are going to question him later. Hello, sir. How does it feel to be one of the only people that is watching this incredibly satisfying historical event? And my name is Arnold, and, uh, yeah. But what are your thoughts on the government's plan to go to Titan? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for your time, Arnold, and I hope I can see you again soon. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have here today at the CBC News headquarters. Join us next, next time for our next edition of CBC News. This is it, Buck. Let's do this. Hopefully nobody dies. Although they probably will. <laughs> Launching the spacecraft in 3, 2, 1. Spacecraft. Whoa. Whoa, did you see that? It launched. Whoa. Uh, they must be Germans. <laughs> uh, whoa, we didn't kill anyone. I mean, I'm actually really surprised about that. <laughs> You see, people, this, this is a not dangerous thing, and the Mafia has failed us. Well, technically, they failed themselves, but you got the point. Thank you, thank you. Now I have to talk to the Mafia member who has been detained by the police. I will interrogate him, and I will find the Mafia's true desires, and I will squash them like a bug. 
Uh, peace out. So you must be the man I was looking for. The man who tried to plant the bomb on the spacecraft. Yeah. That's me. So I know for a fact that you're 99% part of the Mafia. But can I get a 100% Jack? Are you part of the Russian Mafia? Josh, no nothing. No, I am not part of the Kafar aid that Mafia. Jack, I don't want to play like that. Yes, you are part of the Russian Mafia. And I already knew that. And if you want to survive in the justice system, you have to tell the truth. Josh Fine, I was part of TH Mafia. You know, you're the first person I actually met that was part of the Mafia. I want to know why you did this to us. Why you started the rebellion. Josh, my boss said that Titan was too big for everyone. I've already told you, Jack, the government has a plan. I've said that time and in time out and countless press meetings. Why don't you guys believe me? But we still couldn't live comfortably. But what about surviving? Isn't that more important than just plain old living comfortably? Oh, humans aren't supposed to be cooled up like this. We need to live like we did billions of years ago. What do you mean? Live fine now. It's a battle of ideologies. Harvey, there are some of us who want to go back to when there were just millions. And we need to do that more so on Titan. Your point is valid, but I won the parliament. I am the prime minister of the United Nations, Jack. And if you look through history, no man has ever gained anything by murdering. I don't know, Harvey. But what are you going to do with me? We're gonna put you on a prisoner ship, and you will, you will make it to Titan, with the others. Oh, thank God. And what about Dave? Dave will most likely not make it to Titan, not unless we catch him. Now I have to ask you, do you feel sorry about even anything that you have done? Josh, I don't know. I was just following orders, but my boss was a little harsh, I guess. And lastly, Jack had to come to this. Where is your boss's headquarters? This is very, very important information. 13 Little Richards Street. I'm only telling you this so that I can be with my boss. Thank you, Jack. Thank you. Now we can go to your cell and you can live in peace. We are approaching the planet Titan. Excellent work. What can you see? Oh, it truly is an amazing spectacle. Alright, begin the landing cycle and put the people on Titan. Open the gates. Yes, sir. Opening gates. Oh, boss. It looks kind of like Earth, actually. We are. Landing in three, two, one. Prepare for impact. We are landing on the desert at the equator of Titan. Awesome work. Now let her down easy. It's landed. I am on planet Titan. Yippee. Oh, such a great, a great feeling it is to know that our spaceship has landed. Thank you. Thank you. I will consult the media. So this is our new home? Huh? Not bad. Huh. Yes. We must start building houses immediately. For the next ship. Whatever you say, boss. I'm gonna take my boys and go over to that sand dune over there. And be got building. For the future of mankind. Let us always remember those who died before us. Hello everyone and welcome to another CBC News Report. 
with your host, Paul Welty, bringing you every single tad of news that your family needs. I personally never thought I'd be saying this, but it's happened. The second spacecraft to the planet Titan and in complete and utter success. That's right, Paul. Here I am on the planet Titan for the first time ever. We have our first CBC News report from Titan on the surface. We are continuing to build, build, build. We're launching the third spacecraft. I don't know when it will happen. It will be horrendously fun. Oh, well, to answer your question, Kate Green, the Prime Minister Harvey is speaking today about the future of the planet Titan. He is promising to launch a third spacecraft very soon. Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Prime Minister Harvey, Prime Minister of the United Nations. I assure you that this is completely safe as long as we keep security top notch. Tomorrow, we will launch our third spacecraft containing practically the rest of Earth. There will be three billion people on this spacecraft. After that, we will launch a fourth spacecraft to the planet Titan. This will include all of the world leaders and the criminals and maybe even the Mafia. I assure you, I will not step off this planet until I know that every single human being has been safely on Titan. Thank you very much. Well, there you have it. Paul Wilty reporting out. You're disgusting. Well, if you're gonna force me to be your prisoner, we might as well be friends. You actually believe me? No! You're the crazy one! But I also don't want to be turned into a crisp person soon! Whatever. The more the merrier. But Joe, you do understand that if you were to say betray me, you'd die. Everything is gonna be fine. Let's plan. Let's see us here. We're fine. Now, I don't know what your financial issues are like, but we could build a very own spaceship. That's exactly what I was thinking. Uh, the sun just came out. How long until we get off this stupid planet? You see, Harvey, the sun is only getting hotter and hotter. I say we skip all of the precautions. We must get off this planet and go to Titan. The first two planets in the solar system we're almost sucked in. We had a cold blast. Now, we have a heat blast. You're right. It's getting unbearably hot. My goodness gracious, it's hot. Oh. Hello everyone, my name is Prime Minister Harvey. Prime Minister of the United Nations. As you have probably experienced already, the world is going through an intense heat wave that we have never experienced before. We had a cold wave, now we have a heat wave. Later today, we will launch the third spacecraft to the planet Titan, which will mean that every single person will have to be on that ship, except for me and my commanders. We have to deal with the, with the Mafia. By our fourth launch, every single person will be off Earth. 
Now this is quite an historical event for us human beings, and this is probably the last time that I will be talking to an actual live audience. I would make a speech, but I'm too lazy. But yeah. Consult with your municipal directors for further information. Farewell, everyone. It's been a, a pleasure being your prime minister, and I guess it will be a pleasure being your prime minister on Titan. Alrighty, honey, let's go. In the car, let's go. I think it will be hilariously fun to be on Titan, don't you agree? Uh, yeah, a bit. Man, it's hot. Hello, this is Paul Wilson bringing you this edition of CBC News. Your last edition of CBC News from this new studio until it gets burnt to a crispy crisp from the sun's fairy blaze. Anyway, oh, I'm not supposed to cry, sorry. Well, you know, I am. I will be on that third, that third launch, and I, I hope all of you will too. Actually, you have to. You're getting forced to. Hello, old friend. Is it too late to buy more fuel? Um, yeah, it's never too late to buy fuel, Dave. So, what have you been up to? You're not doing another one of your crazy plans, I hope. Well, we're building another rocket. Yeah, take everything you want, Dave. You're a close friend. Yeah. Otherwise, I would have to leave all of my fuel. On Earth, they wouldn't let me take it to Titan. Thanks, friend. I'll definitely find a way to repay you. How did it go? He accepted. We get all the fuel for no charge. So now all we have to do is bazooka the ship! Mid flight or something, right? That's the plan, my dude. Yeah, just plain old killing people. Well, actually, we will be using a laser, and making a slight hole in it. I hope you know what you're doing! There still is time to make this right. Only four billion people made it. Five billion to kill. My goodness gracious! It's freaking hot! We leave tomorrow. Not too long. And the third flight is tonight. I'm guessing the fourth flight will be tomorrow morning. We murder four right away and then go for three. After that we arrive at Titan and rule it the right way. We can work with a population of four billion. Okay. Tomorrow I'm gonna drive by the jail and free Jack. Tomorrow I'll be free. Hello and welcome to another edition of CBC News. My name is Paul Wilty, bringing you this edition of CBC News. The third spacecraft to be launched in the second shipment of people to the moon, Titan, is about to take place, and I am on that second sh ship, bringing you live coverage from inside the airlock corridor. The launch should take place any time now, and we are staying tuned for what the Prime Minister says. We are taking a jailed criminal on the ship, and we are putting him in a padded cell for protection. Jack, he is on this ship. Anyway, stay tuned for another thing that might happen. So stay tuned. Anyways, hello, hello. I give you permission to launch the spacecraft in three, two, one. Acceptable. This is a pretty spiky ship, don't you agree? Yeah, we'll have to land soon. I can hear that the third launch has happened. Hmm. Let's do it now. You 
we're off. Now get back to work, Johnny. Oh, oh. What was that nastiness? Oh my. Identify yourself. It's. It's. The Mafia, the Mafia, the Mafia, the Mafia. Yay, well, I'm gonna be a dead boy soon. Or I guess a dead robo. Go ahead, Farmer Joe. Warm up the laser. But I was just getting ready to leave. Harley! We must go at once. The Earth is falling apart. You're right, Dr. Drake. I heard the Mafia. They already launched off. There's nothing left to do here on Earth. Let's get to the car. Turn your smelly, smelly butt around and hit that button. I knew this would happen. I should have never trusted a poor farmer. I'll do it myself. Launching in three, two, one. Goodbye, Earth. I'll miss you. I'll miss you very much. You've been good to us for... for so many years. Well... Well, there goes Earth. Huh. Goodbye. I'm warming up the laser. Dave! What the heck are you doing? Save me, Dave. Aren't they gonna make it? Paul Wilty is up there. And I hope he makes it. Because if he does it, I'd probably cry. Take that! What the heck are you doing? If you do that, we're all gonna die! And if you succeed, many more people will die! I can see that this self-destruct button is on. What do we do? Not sure. Why? They would do that. But, then, again, terrorists are unprotectable. They're too close. If they blow, we will go down as well. Now, I could power up the ship, but in order to do that, I'll have to lower the pressure chips. Not enough power. I think I can take on the prisoner. Do it. Okay, now, the third ship in front of us. It's too far out to be affected. And, as a matter of fact, we will be approaching Titan soon. Good. Hello, Jackie boy. This is why I don't trust scumbags like you. Dave! Don't you see? Harvey was right. He knew what he was doing. It's going to be so polluted. We, ha we humans, we know nothing. Another successful mission. We have made it to the Moon Titan, and we will be landing shortly. Whoa, dude. Let's go. The spaceship is landing. We must hurry and help the people on board. Oh my goodness, my grandson is here. Oh my hobby, a landing mission accomplished. Don't you dare touch me. Jack, what I am doing will protect us both. It is in your interest to listen to me. Your boss for some reason put his ship on self-destruct. I don't think that there is a chance that you will hurt any more lives. 
So, I will do anything in my power to save us both. There is no use you cannot undo these things. Wow, I'm impressed. Titans, it is. A very beautiful planet. Humans have released animals from Earth. And now they roam Titan. Instead of building out, we build up and down. We have built our society. Hey, it's you. Let me help you, Dave. They're still good in you. Wait. Uh oh, now. Oh, now. Flight 3 has reached its destination. <sighs> okay. Jack has agreed not to leave the prison. That's a dangerous move, Harvey. I'll let you know if I need your help. Ah, scumbag. Let's see if I can undo this. At least I'll die for a good cause. And when I get off, I'm leaving Farmer Joe behind and I'm killing Harvey and Dr. Drake. Just because I killed a guy doesn't mean I had to trust this man. He is not what he said he was. Not at all. <laughs> I need to find a way out! I'm the only one that matters now! Where did that scoundrel go? Uh, oh crap. Let's see if this works. If I open the doors, I'll get sucked into space before the ship explodes. I have a high chance of death, but maybe Harvey and Dr. Drake well, take Petty and me! Ha <laughs> ha, yeah! Their ship will explode soon. Okay, Dr. Drake. I wish I could help them. Yes! The agony is almost over. Harvey, soon I will be with my family and friends back on the moon of Titan. Um, how do you help? Bomb detonation activated. Ah, my plans failed. I'm going to die. No! Boss! What about your dream? Let's go to the chamber with the shield. The only part of the ship that will be safe from the explosion. Okay, Dr. Drake. I'm going to check the system. Ah! Look behind you! Ah, you won't last long with that. I know. Is there anything we can do to help him? The explosion blew away the rest of the ship, and this is the only area with the door. Interstellar space is extremely dark and scary. Without a suit, you will die. The problem is that we only have one suit, and if the door opens, I will be chucked out. And is there no possible way that we can share the suit? It is a large spacesuit. Maybe, Harvey, because of the oxygen, we won't have much time. It's made of a tough electric turbine that has brought on into the spaces of the suit. Dr. Drake, I don't understand your scientific language. Speak English, Dr. Drake. Oh, okay, okay. It's made of a tough elastic 
so it won't break. Dr. Drake, I trust you. Let's go. Okay, Dr. Drake, are you fitting in there good? Yes, it is good. Now, let's go. Okay, I'm pressing the button. Okay, Dr. Drake, you do exactly as I say. Move when I move, because I can see. I'm swimming towards Farmer Joe. Use the thrusters, Harvey! It's the government! Oh, thank you. I can see Farmer Joe. He looks in pain. I'm coming for you. Go, Harvey! Go! I found him and I'm latching on. Once we get back, I'll prepare the medical supplies. I can see Titan, Dr. Drake. That's how far we've traveled. We're inside. I have Farmer Joe. Eh? <sighs> Farmer Joe, you are safe, and hopefully, Harvey will drop all charges against you, and can go back to being normal. But, right now, you will need to hold on to me, because we are landing the final ship, once and for all, on Titan. Okay... Uh, the spaceship had landed. Oh. Harvey! Hello, Harvey. Hello there, old pal. We need a, a medical bed. Farmer Joe is, is sick. Right away. You must make your speech to the people. Right away. I will do that. Sit down, Farmer Joe. Uh, I can't. You're much pain. Ah, okay. You strong, independent man. Me? I'm a murderer. <laughs> yes. And you should feel sorry for that. But you also saved lives. You saved mine, Harvey's, and the third flight. You did terrible things. In the past. But that doesn't mean you can't do amazing things now. Through Christ. Uh, Hello again and welcome to another edition of CBC News with your hosts Paul Wilty and Kate Green. Everyone has made it home safe to the new home. Titan. Here I am at the wasteland where all of the spacecrafts landed from one to four. Many people died in the hands of the Mafia on the way, but the government and Harvey have done their best to keep everyone safe and happy. This has been quite a historical event for us human beings, and CBC News has proudly brought you all of your broadcasting needs. That is right. Harvey will give his closing speech in a while. Hello there, citizens of Jupiter's moon, Titan. Here I am at one of the beaches that we constructed as a race, the human race. I just want to say it, that almost everyone from Earth made it to this place alive. And I am proud to be the Prime Minister of the United Nations. I want to say thank you to every single boy and girl who made this work, and also the men and uh, the women, I guess, too. I will release Farmer Joe's charges on what he did to that man on Earth, the murder that took place, and how he helped the Morphia. But he also helped the human race by exploding that spaceship and killing Dave, the leader of the Morphia. He will be closely monitored, but um, 
I believe that he has done enough for us. You know, I'm alive partly because of him. As for Jack, he will be locked up for um, his entire life. He was not like Farmer Joe. He was the same as Dave. A scorpion. Well, my final words are, thank you everyone, and good night, Titan. A stupid Scottish man, Dr. Drake. Oh, I was. <laughs> that did not work. Yes. Okay, <laughs> Carson. I am gonna kill. Nope, wrong voice. Even though in the movie I was Dr. Drake's friend and his companion until the end. In real life, Dr. Drake is a stupid, idiotic Scottish man. Who is nothing but a slime mother and a murderer? Huh? <laughs>